Dear brothers and sisters, in his private revelations from God the Father, mystic Father Mitchell Rodrigue has been given the outline of what will take place around 45 days after the warning. When the devil returns six and a half weeks after the warning, he will disseminate a message to the world through the media, cell phones, TVs, etc. The message is this. A collective illusion happened on this date. Our scientists have analyzed this and found it occurred at the same time that a solar flare from the sun was released into the universe. It was so powerful that it affected the minds of the people on earth, giving everyone a collective illusion. The devil fools us even now through the new priests of the world, television journalists who want you to think what they think, so they present only the news that is their opinion. They twist the truth and you are hypnotized, manipulated into believing them. I will share something that will probably surprise you. During the Second World War, the Nazis were chosen and trained for a specific role. Hitler was worshipping Satan, and the SS Sauters were his disciples, thus the Nazis were possessed. The German army didn't know that, but since they were under the authority of the SS, they followed orders. If they didn't, they were killed. A similar thing will happen now. There is a one-world order comprised of people who call themselves the Illuminati and worship Satan. They have puppets now in positions of power in every country, whom they oblige to worship Satan with them. Their second arm is international banking elites, who decide which country's money will be devalued, causing bankruptcy, and which currencies will thrive. This is not decided within a country, but outside of it. The third arm of the Illuminati is the three major satanic cults in the world, the cult of Egypt, the cult of Europe, and the Wicca cult, which is in America. The group that works under them is the Masons. The One World Order is preparing military core groups in different countries, who will be disciples of Satan, linked directly to them. When the devil's power returns after the warning, they will emerge as the One World Government. Even now, their military police force is in place, awaiting orders. You have to know that. We will see a repetition of what happened in the Second World War, but this time, with universal action. Hitler began in Germany and then conquered other countries. Now, Satan has no more time. He will start a nuclear war that will be global. The Third World War, his war against all of humanity. The devil will kill one third of humanity in this war, and through plagues and abortion, just as one third of the angels were cast out of heaven into hell. Seven nuclear missiles will be permitted to strike the United States as a result of its abominations. Many nuclear missiles will be deflected by the hand of God, because America praised the Divine Mercy Chaplain. I was told this by the Eternal Father. A false prophet, the Antichrist, will try to dominate the world through the One World Government. He will require you to have a mark, a chip, in order to buy and sell. And those who do not take the mark will be hunted like the SS hunted the Jews during World War II. Certain groups in the military have been selected to receive a chip, which means they will have special and specific functions at that moment. Their role is to find the resistant Christian who refuses dependence on the deadly one. These soldiers will not be conducted by a general, but by a possessed general, a prince of Satan. Those who are captured will be tortured and martyred if they refuse to submit to the dictates of the Antichrist and the One World Government. Many Christians will be forced to confess their faith in front of others and die as martyrs. Many others will be protected in refuges. But remember, everyone carries his cross. And this cross can be for us a great gift of grace, an agent of salvation chosen by the Father. We have to kiss the cross. We don't choose our cross, but we accept the one that comes to us. This is the faithfulness of the people of God. A prayer for carrying the cross. Oh my God, I thank you for this cross you've allowed me to carry. Please give me the strength and faith to persevere so that I may bring glory to your name, all while withstanding the burden of its weight. Thank you for offering me a share in your suffering. I know you have always been, are now, and ever will be, at my side every step of the way. Thank you also for every Simon you have sent, to help me bear this cross. I've prayed so often that this thorn in my flesh, would be removed, 
but I trust that your grace is sufficient. Change my heart's troubled cry of, how long, Lord, into words of trust. However long, O Lord, may I seek only to do your will and to unite my sufferings with your passion. Help me to not get lost in my own self-concerns, but that I may find in these trials a way to greater virtue, a call to prayer, and a path to trust in you alone. Permit me not to waste my pain, but to make of all these struggles a sacrificial offering for others. Lord, when I am weary and I fall, exhausted under the weight of this cross, please give me the courage to press on as you did. Lord Jesus, I embrace with love my cross as a share in your own. By your grace, may I carry it all the way to the vision of your glory. I abandon myself totally to your will. Christ Jesus, I trust in you. Amen.